Hello, how are you? Good evening, Good teacher. Good evening, Morena. How are you? I'm how great. Great. Good evening. Good evening. I see we are ready for tonight. Yes, we're ready to for tonight. Excellent, excellent. <laughs> Aleli, how are you today? <clears throat> Aleli, how are you today? No, you, Aleli, not me. They, they say you. Your microphone. No se te escucha. Try again, Eleli. No. Eleli. How about you, teacher? I'm okay. I'm okay. Eleli, try to fix. Oh, pero dice que estás en silencio. Activalo, Eleli. Dice que está, tu compu está en silencio. You are silent. Uh huh. In the bottom on the left, you're going to see a little microphone. Click. In the bottom left part, there's going to be a little microphone. Huh? Thank you. The volume, Vol volume, volume, volume. Okay. Try to fix it, Aleli, no problem. Try to fix it. Morena, how are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Hi, how about you? I'm pretty good, very nice, ready to get started. Okay. I'm ready for the, I'm ready for the presentations. Um, um, more or less. <laughs> more or less, more or less, uh-huh. <laughs> Uh huh. I I think it's a Lely's a Lely's way for say, hey teacher, I can't present. Ya viste, no puedo presentar, teacher. No, no, no me. Uh huh. Uh, uh -huh. Oh, I have problem with my microphone too. I have problem oh, with my, my microphone. This is the Lely's technique. <laughs> mayday, mayday, Houston. Uh huh. Let's see. Marvin, Elvis. Let's see. A Lely, can you listen or no? No, no, I, I think Aleli ni nos puede escuchar. I don't think Aleli can listen. Hmm. Let me see. Let me ask. Look in the chat, Aleli. Look in the chat. No, no, no nos escuchas. Aleli, nos puedes escuchar. Can you listen to us, Aleli? Okay. Then, okay. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Let me try to do. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and continue. And it's going to try to fix it. Um, and we're going to go ahead and have. Are we ready for today? Yes. Santiago, yes, you are ready, right? I'm ready, teacher. Excellent. Are you ready with your presentation, Santiago? Really? Start mm -hmm. now? I think, yes. Okay. Bef before we Before we begin. The turning point. The turning point, exactly. So before we begin, just to remind everybody, the objective of your presentation is a turning point in your life. Something important in your life that changed your life and went in a different way. Okay? Okay, teacher, let me see. Okay. Well, I, I, have, had, I have had many turning points in my life, teacher. And guys... The first was when my 
parents separate, it was very hard for me because I was only 10 years old. You know? 10. 10, ten, ten years old. Okay. 10 years old. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, the second was when my my parent died. Uh, it was a uh, blow that I still haven't gotten over, and I think, and never will. Uh, somehow, that chapter in my life made me stronger and braver. Maybe. The third was when I meet uh, the woman I have by my side today. Because thanks, thanks to her, I found true love and the birth of my children was possible. Mm, somehow life gave my bad web is it had taken from me. They fall in my heart with joy and the smile turn to my face. I feel very lucky to live the life we we have today and even though sometimes I feel sad they made me give thank thank you for for what they have when and not thanks so much about what I have lost okay because today I know for sure that God has always been with me all all time teacher okay that's very, it very nice very nice we need to work a little bit more on your fluency um with that's the most important part good vocabulary good ideas but the fluency is the most important that way you can speak more naturally okay okay teacher good job all right so next the next person santiago who is next who's next okay um Let me see my partner. Let uh, okay, vamos a ver. Emerson. <laughs> Emerson, okay, okay. Uh, Emerson, uh, he absent. Let's take a look. I don't. I'm looking in the list. Hi, Santiago. Emerson Alexander is Hi, there. Emerson. <laughs> yes. He was absent yesterday. Emerson, you were hey. absent yesterday. Yes. Hey. Today, my information. Sorry, Emerson. What did you say today? Today, me information. Okay, so today. Huh? Hoy me informaron de. Ah, okay. But but you know, Emerson, you know what Someone. to do. Yes, I I don't I don't know. O sea, no te informaron o sí te informaron. No. Ah, no. no te informaron. Hasta, oh. el día, hasta el día de hoy me enteré. Ok, ok. It's ok. Que sea, que sea voluntario, teacher. No me tiene <laughs> claro. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Emerson. Tell us something that changed your life. Tell us something that changed your life, Emerson, and why. Uh, ok. Is my presentation? Is okay? Yes. Yes, no problem. Yeah. Yeah. I'm nervous. Uh, we'll... Uh, I my name is Emerson Alexander Mejia. I'm 29 years old. I live in San Salvador. Um, I have two children, two sons. I'm um, um, wise. Uh, ah, sorry, teacher, I'm nervous. No, no, relax. You can do it. Go ahead. Uh, what more my favorite meat is the pupusas um, I don't know <laughs> okay don't worry Emerson today you came you think about something that impacted your life and changed your life okay good thank you very much for introducing yourself all right Morena you ready thank you yes teacher all right, Morena. I will try. 
I will you try. Can you can do it, Morena. <laughs> okay. My turning point was um, when I I had to decide uh, what profession to study because I didn't know uh, whether to be a teacher or an accountant. But I, I, I had the opportunity to attend a, a spiritual retreat and I, and I asked God uh, to guide my steps. <laughs> what he 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 has done uh, in the course of my world life in the end i i decide to study to be an, an accountant and and i can and i can say that this profession has brought brought me uh, many satisfaction and work <laughs> only teacher okay. thank you guys thank you morena so morena you decided to be an accountant in the spiritual retreat uh-huh yes okay Th then i understood correctly good thank mm -hmm. you mm -hmm. okay very nice who is the next person morena um elvis Elvis, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, something that changed my life, uh, uh, it was when I had my first job. Uh, I was young. I was 18 years old. I got a job in Banco de Comercio as a cashier. I feel very happy uh, this, this day because uh, I I could help uh, to my parents and I could buy my own things. For example, clothes and shoes. Uh, th that day I saved uh, thank good because uh, work is a blessing. Um, since that day, I value, uh, appreciate uh, the uh, which my parents did for for me when when I was a child. That's it. Okay, very nice. Thank you very much. And who is next? Um, Noe Vasquez. Noe Vasquez, all right. Good evening. Uh, when I finished uh, my high school, I decided to work in a company with an operator in a shoe factory. Uh, I should need the it want the air more money, better salary. I uh, continue with my study in the university and thanks to school. I finished this is my uh, degree in public accounting and I work as a coordinator administrative in a corporation and things twelve years ago. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Noe, only your microphone is a little soft when you are speaking. We listen, but it's a little soft. It's clear, but it, it sounds soft, okay? Okay, did you? Yeah, thank you, Noe. No problem. Okay, Who is next, you. Noe? Okay. 
Emerson. Emerson. Okay. Hi, teacher. Hello. Can you listen me? Ya pasó yes, Emerson. Emerson. But, uh -huh. ya, ya, but, ya participé. <laughs> yes, but Emerson already part. Uh -huh. So okay, we have Marvin. Aleli, Cesar, Delmi, Eneida, uh, Jaime, Luis, or Marvin? Marvin. Marvin, okay. Yes, please. Thank you, Noe. You can hear me, teacher? Yes. Okay. Uh, the turn point in my life. Uh, okay. Mm. Uh, uh, I think I think that what changed in my life is studying and, and architecture uh, because it made me it made me think about different different place. For example, um, when I visit to to when I visit to the park, the beach, and the mountain, I think it I. I think it's because it usually usually think about the the, the use and the good and the bad, good and the bad, um, and and who I could include for me it's, it's, it's really really it's 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 funny funny and I studied, I studied an architecture. I wasn't so out uh, surveying, but now it, 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 it's different. Um, sorry for my communication, teacher. No, 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 Marvin. Only I want to be clear. You say when you study architecture, I wasn't so out surveying. What what is surveying? Antes. Antes no era tan observador para las cosas. Ah, good. Only the pronunciation, Marvin. I wasn't so observant. 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 I wasn't so observant. Good. Only the pronunciation. Very nice, Marvin. Very nice. Okay. Who is next, Marvin? Who is next? Okay. Let me see. No tengo a todos los compañeros aquí en la pantalla. Aleli. Cesar, Delmi, Eneida, Jaime, or Luis? Ah, okay. Men and woman. Men and woman. Cesar. I don't know, woman, uh, woman, okay. woman, woman. Uh, uh, Eneida. Eneida, okay, okay. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Um, in my life, uh, my life changed when I start my my first work because uh, I I had a freedom because uh, I had a very hard mom. Uh, uh, I don't know if you say a strict a strict person. Correct. Also okay. And um, I remember when I have money. And I, uh, and I can buy uh, a lot of things. When I was a child, I don't have, or I don't have, or I I didn't have. Uh -huh. And I remember I can, um, uh, I can. Ah, uh, sería. Uh, take a take a walking or take a trip. I don't know, and I can now can now for my my home. And for example, uh, I can uh, have a lot of friends and. To Talking with my my friends and my and my coworkers because when I was a child I I never uh, never went 
to my house. It's only that. Okay, I am a little confused, Aneda. Mm -hmm. When you were a child, you never went to your house. No, you... uh, going going out. Ah, never. Okay. Uh -huh. you, you, when you were a child, you never went out. When, uh, hard went out. Is okay. Correct. Okay. <laughs> So uh -huh. then no no a lot of friends, no a lot of parties. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. okay. I understand. Okay. Thank you, Neda. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. And Neda, who is next? We have Ale Ale who? Aleli. Aleli. Ooh, I don't know if Aleli is fixed the microphone because she she had problems with the microphone. Luis? Wait, wait, let's see. Aleli. Is your microphone fixed? No. O alguien la escucha o soy yo? Hello. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Okay. 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 Uh -huh. okay. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I know I saw but... <laughs> oh, that changed to my life last year. I had um accident and broke my right foot in two. Um, this left me crippled and understand um, that I need other the people to survive. Um, it's a beam, uh, a very uh, painful few months um, and where I recognize my true friends. Um, this law taught me that no matter how easy and something is, um, we always need some end. Okay. It's only. Aleli, how did you break your foot? In an accident? Yes. In a car accident or? Yes. Or it's a car accident. Mm. Um, it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. Um, uh, for four months, the therapy. Wow. Uh, yes, it's dolorous. Okay. It's horrible. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Is it only my... It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> en todas las versiones, teacher, no lo dude. <laughs> okay, Aleli, okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Aleli. Okay. Good. Who is next, Aleli? Um, we have Cesar, Demi, Eneida. Oh, no, Eneida already passed. Cesar, Sorry. no, okay. Eneida, no. Yes. No, Eneida, no. no. <laughs> mm -hmm. Cesar. Cesar. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Hello, guys. Um, well, I consider that a turning point in my life, uh, as I told you yesterday, was when I received uh, the scholarship that I'm using in this moment for my university studies. And, well, I think this it was a difficult process because uh, it was so hard and... I did a lot of tests and interviews and something like that, but thank God I passed all the interviews and all the tests. And that's why I am at the university right now because my father couldn't pay for my studies. So I think that was a really great opportunity and was a turning point in my life. Hey, Cesar, in what university are you studying? Um, I'm studying at the University of El Salvador, and I'm studying in a bachelor in geophysics. A bachelor's in? In geophysics. Geophysics. Wow. Yes. It's not so common. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not so common, but um, now I really like the career because um, in, in those moments, I was to about uh, I was about to study physics, all phys uh, physics, but because near to my house, uh, they they didn't have the career that the physics, right? So just your physics. But now I'm a programmer as well, and I think 
when I learned to program it was another turn, uh, turning point in my life. Okay, all right. Great, Cesar, thank you so much. Cesar, who is next? Um, let me see. We have- Delmi? Delmi, Delmi. good, okay, no okay. problem. And we still Hello, have... good night. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. Uh, well, uh, something changed in my life is when I became an adult uh, because I recall I had many responsibilities in my life. Uh, I really like when I was a child because I avoid many things, such as responsibilities, problems, etc. But uh, it's something that it changes my life uh, because I learned many things about the life, how to to life, how to to life, and also um and that's it. Okay, what did you learn as an adult? Uh, well, I need to, to learn many things, such as uh, I learned to be a responsible person. And also I needed to work for my own things, uh, such as my, my clothes, my shoes. And also I, need, I needed to pay my own studies. And it's only. Okay, thank you very much. Good. Mm -hmm. Who is next? We have Jaime, Luis, Raquel, or Isa. Oh, Jaime. and Laura. And Laura, because Laura came in a little late. Mm -hmm. Okay. Jaime. Jaime. Okay. Jaime Reyes. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I think that uh, a moment that changed my life was when I was uh, 18 years old. I had to move from my home, my house located in the rural area in Quesaltepec city. And to I, I moved to San Salvador to study in the the university, and I was just to to living with my family, um, and for that moment, I was alone living in a place where I was not. Uh, uh, I knew nobody. I think, I think that this moment or uh, that situation uh, changed my life. What happened? Did did you were you scared? Did you meet new friends? Did you have problems with the gangs? No, 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 no one friends. Nobody. Only I living in in a in a apartment. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is difficult when you live by yourself the first time, and no friends. Yeah. And in area rural rural area and and the city and mm -hmm. that only that teacher okay jaime very nice very nice so jaime who is next we have luis um raquel isa or laura um laura teacher laura okay laura michelle Good evening. Hello, Laura. Hello. Okay, when? Um, a few years ago, when I was um, 20 years, 20 years old, and my mother emigrated, and I was um, responsible for my, for my younger sister. She was 10 years old that generated many changes in my life. I, I had to go to a school meeting 
um, take care of the doctor. Um, my weekends were um, were not they were the same. I had to make many decisions uh, that my mother used to make. Um, the good thing is that my sister was a very uh, obedient girl. Laura, I'm a little confused. Who were you responsible for? My younger sister. Look in the chat. Hermana de mi, herma, I, I'm confused, hermana de mi, no, my, my uh, hermana de mi, hermana, huh? Younger. Yes. My mm -hmm. younger sister. Yes. Ah, okay, okay. All right. Cool. I, now I understand. Yes. You're, okay. So you are like the mom. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's very common when the parents have to immigrate. It's yes. your responsibility. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. And I was 20 years old. Ah, 20 years old? Ooh. You can have children, no problem. <laughs> uh -huh. No problem, Laura. Okay. All right. And Laura, who is next? We have Raquel, we have Isa, and of course, we have Luis. Um, Raquel. Okay, Raquel. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Teacher. <laughs> well, and um, in my case, um, I had a serious accident in 2017 when uh, I fell fell up the bus when I returned when I was returning from a meeting when with my university classmate and it was very very difficult situation because uh, I I I received a golpe how do you say injury injury of my head so the doctor had to drain the accumulated from blood blood from my brain so it was a serious operation. I wake up three days before, later, after, mm -hmm. later, and um, it was confusing uh, the first week. And uh, afterwards, it it was a process of reflect reflection and of improving my life in general. And for example, with good nutrition, uh, regular exercise, enjoying time with my family, spend time with my friends. So in, in general, I try to um, to improve my life in general. Okay. A, a very serious injury, Raquel. What happened? Yes. Um, I fell uh, off the bus. And when I try to to bajar, o sea, en el bus se fue. O sea, uh, okay, so no, not only not only fell, but the the bus was in movement. Yes, yes, okay. and, and yes, I fell in the half of the of the street. It was a it was a miracle, but because. Um, the car is coming, and I, I, I stayed in the middle of the street. That um, some people's a woman, and he is her husband, mm -hmm. um, and he helped me. So, was a miracle. Yes, yes, very yeah. nice. Okay, okay, thank you, Raquel. Very nice. All right, we have two more people. We have Luis. And we have Aisa. Who's next? Aisa. Okay, Aisa. Hi, Luis. The best for the last. The best for last, Luis. Okay. It's okay. <laughs> okay, all right. 
愛さん。愛さん、愛さん。Okay, maybe Aisa have some technical problems. Don't worry. Okay, then one more time. Aisa. All right, Luis, go ahead. It's okay. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Luis. Um, I feel that what has marked my life was when I joined it. Uh, the armor force. I I feel learned about discipline, responsibility. Um, I feel I use this act attitude on a daily basis. And I, I feel that no, I see things. Differently, uh, for example, with the discipline, I have 447 G seven days to practice Duolingo. Um, in my job, in the morning, I am a punctuality. I am a, I am punctuality in, I don't know, <laughs> I, I feel that. This is the most uh, important moment in my life. Okay, good. Very nice, Louise. Only the word is punctual. 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 Good. Okay. All right. Well, guys, it's great to get to know you and great to see things that impacted your life and changed your life. That is the idea of yesterday's class and lesson. Things and how to describe the moments, the time clauses. Uh, a moment that changed my life, when, was, I, all of the things in the past. Today, we're going to continue learning to describe a little bit more about ourselves and other people. But today, we're going to be looking at the idea of behavior and personality. Luis is talking about behavior. Behavior is, for example, constant, 447 days, practicing Duolingo. This is behavior, right? Behavior is what you do. Personality are the descriptions, okay? For example, a personality, intelligent, kind, honest. This is the personalities. We're going to learn some vocabulary to describe both of them. And then we're going to talk about ourselves. Honest as possible. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Okay, do you know all of those vocabulary words? Sorry, Delmi, I can't hear you. Speak louder. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, ambitious, Amb argumentative, mm -hmm. argumentative, a carefree, conscientious. Mm, I don't know how to say. Naive. The next. Naive, pragmatic, rebellious. Rebellious. And rebellious and sensible. Sensible. I don't know if the it is the correct pronunciation. And so so I don't know how to say the, the last one. Sophisticated. 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 Okay. Tell me which word you don't know the meaning. Mm. Pragmatic. Pragmatic. A pragmatic person is a person that is very, um, you can think of it as they take things that are 
the best decision, not complicate with emotions, but more this the decisions that are correct. This is pragmatic, like an easy decisions. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other words that anybody doesn't know? Carefree teacher. I don't Care know. Carefree is like the person that they don't care about um, responsibilities or actions. They are um, JOLO. They are like the hippies. They, ah, what happened, happened. Don't worry. It's carefree. Peace and love. Yes, like peace and love. Mm -hmm. Relax. Yes. Any other words? Thank you. Nave. Which one? Nave. Good. Nave. Pronunciation? Naive. 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 Good. Naive is somebody like a child. A child that believes in Santa Claus or in the tooth fairy, or this is naive. They are not very open to the world. They are innocent. This is naive. Any other words? Dramatic teacher. Excellent. What was pragmatic? A person but, who takes decision with the reason. Correct. The person that makes decision with logic and not emotions. This is pragmatic. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens? In your 20s, how do you behave now? Try to be as honest as possible. Exactly. And that's what we're going to do in this moment. We're going to answer the three questions. How did you behave? How were you in your teens, in your 20s, and now? Think about it. Oh, when I was a teenager, for example, me, oui, I was very rebellious. Always I try to fight and go against. I was not very studious. No, I was very lazy. I didn't like to do homework or study. In my 20s, I changed my life. In my 20s, I was very hard worker, very dedicated and focused. I learned how to be disciplined like Luis. And now I am a person that is very calm, relaxed. I don't complicate my life. I don't worry about if people like me or don't like me. This was my problem when I was a teen. I tried to have friends that were fake. Now, ah, mejor ni me hablen si van a ser falsos. <laughs> so, yeah, I acquired. So the same with your partners. We're going to make groups and the three. Teacher, I had a question. Twenties and now. Yes, 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 Emerson. Uh, who is a person sophisticated? Sophisticated, usually sophisticated has a little bit more knowledge and experience about the world, about different types of, for example, fashion or clothing or about food, art, and different decorations. This is a little bit more sophisticated. Ah, oh, o sea, una fresa, por, por decirlo así. No, 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 no. no. Um, yes. No. So or fancy people. Yes. Thank you, Raquel. Maybe the better than fancy. The woman, the sophisticated. Exactly. Like a professional businesswoman. A businesswoman that has a lot of information and knowledge. And uh, for example, Emerson, if um, uh, maybe the knowledge of how to invest into the stock market, uh, how to buy companies uh, uh, like this. It's okay, Emerson? Yes. A simple teacher says that is sophisticated. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Like the people that have, you know, a little bit more knowledge in other academic or more different areas. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now with our partners, we have a few minutes. 
we have six minutes. You are going to share each person, teenager, 20s, and now. Try to use not only that vocabulary, other vocabulary to describe yourself. Okay. <clears throat> Aisa. Use the chat. If you have problems speaking, use the chat, Aisa. Aisa Ortiz. Aisa Ortiz. Aisa. Aisa, Aisa, Aisa. Okay, Aisa. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75, exercise eight, grammar focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know the way you should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. 
Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. Seventy-five. Exercise eight. Grammar focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical. Have the past participle. We want to express regrets. We need to follow the rule. Subject plus should. Have. I would have my own apartment now. When we want. Okay, great to have everyone back. Are there any words, vocabulary, something that you wanted to say that you didn't know how to say? Oh my God. Night, minutes. Teacher. Yes? Uh, uh, well, how describe and uh, decepcionado, decepcionado. Um, maybe disappointed. Okay. Disappointed, disappointed. would be the best way. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Anybody else? Any other words? What is the pronunciation teacher the shy? Is a shy. Uh -huh. Correct. That is the it's pronunciation. Correct. It's correct. Shy. Yes. Yes. Shy. Shy. Mm -hmm. So shy, the person that is not. Who is shy? Shy is the person that is not very outgoing or make friends uh -huh. easily is very reserved yes this is shy yes mm -hmm. so Super shy some people are very communicative ah hello hello da, 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 da. another person yes no <laughs> uh -huh. very shy very shy <laughs> igualito a, a santi <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. So now we have the idea of the different ways that we're describing ourselves in the past, when we were teens, 20s, and now. Today, we're going to learn at how to express regrets. What are regrets? What is this word, regrets? Regrets is... Richard is something that you are or you want to change about the past or something like that maybe correct very good Cesar regrets are things that you want to change about the past for example maybe your ex-boyfriend your ex-girlfriend I know bad decision this is a regret right or you know the go the job I, I not accept the job I is a regret my friend invited me to the beach and they have a wonderful time and I didn't go. This is a regret. Things that you want to change about the past. But to use regrets, we have a specific formula and we have a specific grammar. In order to talk about regrets, we use this formula. We use should have and the past participle. We're going to use the subject 
for example, I, you, we, they should have and the past participle. This is going to explain to the listener that you have a regret of something that you wanted in the past. Okay. So as an example, oy, my regret, I should have studied English when I was a teenager. Ah, this means I didn't study English as a teenager and it's a regret. It's okay, the idea, the structures? Yes, teacher. Okay, now we're going to watch the video and see some examples and listen to some ideas of how to express regret. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75. Exercise 8. Grammar Focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know that we should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. If you'd save money, if you learn English before. Now, those are the ideas. Now, we're not going to practice them today, but it's for us to get an idea of the concept of how to make a sentence of a regret. Okay, so how do we make it? Well, many times we begin with if, right? So we say first the th subject, the topic, as an example, if I had studied English, this is the first. This explains that it's in the past. What happened? What is the consequence if I studied English before? If I had studied English, for example, in high school. Ah, okay. I'm going to help you by putting it into the chat. If I had studied English in high school, I would have, oh, I would have gotten a job in a call center. This is my regret because if I study before, I have a job before. Okay. You can check in the chat to see how is the structure. This is what we're going to practice tomorrow. We're going to practice this. The grammar is called third conditional. But really the function is regrets. Things that I want to change about the past. Or I want to describe about other people. For example, my sister. If my sister hadn't, hadn't gotten married, she wouldn't have had a baby. Mm, this is the regret, right? Okay. These are the different ideas. Aleli, do you have a question or a comment? Yeah. 
I regret some. A better world, not I have the memory. Okay, so. And regret. So, the regret get married. So, the first, the topic. The topic, what is the problem? Married. I, if I hadn't um, gotten married. I haven't. Or if I hadn't okay. married my husband. If I hadn't married, okay, when I was 15 years old. And then, what do you imagine? Okay. I could have, I could have, I might. These are the ideas. Don't worry. Is to have the concept okay. for today to analyze and understand because tomorrow we are going to use this grammar. Okay? Okay, teacher. Excellent. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, uh, what is uh, the participle? Yes, it's with the past participles, Alain. Excuse me, teacher. Uh, yes. Okay. It's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. Have a great night, and I see you tomorrow. Thank okay, you teacher. Tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.